Hello everyone. In today's video, I will show you how to use the filter function to find the price of a product based on three conditions. One is part number, second one is start date and the third one is end date. This scenario was actually asked by one of our subscribers from the US in the last week. So I thought of making this video so that it will be useful for you too. The file link is given in the description to follow along. Let's get started. We have the price table in B3 to E15 cells, part number, start date, end date and price. And we have lookup area in G4 to H4, G4 the part number what we want to search for, H4 the order date for which we need the price and the I4 the result cell where we will update the price. Now we will implement the filter function and apply the conditions one by one. First we will apply the condition for part number, then we will apply the condition for start date and finally we will apply the condition for end date. I am going to write the formula in G6 cell so that it will be helpful to evaluate the result equal to filter select the data range comma include include means the condition I'm going to take the condition the part number column is equal to the part number in G4 cell then close the bracket and hit enter now the filter function resulted three records because there are three records for 4034 part number in the data now we will apply the second condition. Now open the cell and when we want to apply multiple conditions, we need to wrap each condition within the bracket and specify multiplication symbol between each condition. After multiplication symbol, open the bracket for the second condition. The second condition is for the start date. This start date should be less than or equal to 13th May. Then close the bracket and close the bracket. Now two conditions are applied. Let's see how many rows we will get in return. Now we got two records in return because for the part number 4034, there are two records which are less than 13th May 2024. Now we will apply the third condition multiplied, close bracket, select the end date, end date should be greater than or equal to 13th May, then close the bracket, hit enter. Now we got only one single record after applying all these three conditions. Now let us check the order date. In this record, the part number is matching which is 4034 and the order date is between the start date and end date. You can see the April 1st as a start date and 31st July is the end date. This 13th May is between the 1st April and 31st July. But finally, we don't need the entire record, only we need 873 which is the price in return. Now open the formula. In the first argument, we have given the range B4 is to E15, hence it was returning the entire record. So now what we have to do, instead of the entire range, we will take only the price range, hit enter. Now we got only 873 as the price. I am going to cut this function here, open the I4 cell and paste it. At the same time, I need to freeze the range by pressing F4 and this one too and this one too and this one and hit enter. Now we will test the function for couple of part numbers and see whether the function is correctly working or not. Now let's take the part number 7892 and paste here and let me give a 
random date we will check the price for this date for this part number what is the price we will just simply drag down the formula and see the price is 508 and let's find where october is falling so it is october here so the price is 508 and now we will add another product and see if the function works dynamically and if i add another row here for the same product and the date is 15th december 2024 and drag down the formula it will not work because when we open the formula the range is not completely applied for till end of the row in this kind of scenarios i strongly recommend to use official excel tables let me show you now First, select the entire data and convert this to Excel official table by pressing shortcut key Ctrl T. It will give this dialog box. You can click OK to create a table or cancel it. Select the entire range, go to insert and click on this third icon from the left table. It will open the same dialog box and click OK. Now the table has the zebra lines. If you want to turn off the zebra lines, you can click on the banded rows. It will turn off and then you can give the table name as TBL price. Hit enter. Now we have successfully converted this entire data into an official table and then open this function. We will change each range into table range. So first range. I'm going to delete. I'm going to select the price. Just move the cursor onto the column and it will show you the downward arrow. When it is showing the arrow downward, just click it. It will select the entire the column range. The second one, go to part number, go to the part number header and click on it. It will select the part number. Similarly, go to start date and end date and hit enter you drag down now the formula considered the last row as well if i add another part number and now i have added one more row we will take this part number and update here and we will give a random date between uh, January 1st to 31st March and just drag the formula down it will update the value immediately so this is how you can use filter function for multi lookup or multiple condition this filter function works in office 365 if you are using an older version of excel that doesn't support filter you can use an array formula with index and match instead let me know in the comments if you would like a video on that and that's it you have now learned how to use the filter function with multiple criteria in excel if you found this tutorial helpful make sure to like subscribe and hit the bell icon for more excel tips Drop your questions in the comments and I will see you in the next video. Until happy learning.